What is reality? And what is pure fantasy? Is this a real photo? From the real world? Strange places. Combined with bizarre dimensions. These are the works of Swedish photographer Erik Johansson. Each picture begins with a simple sketch on paper. When it's finished, Johansson knows what motifs he needs to photograph. Uh, to me, coming up with ideas is a lot about trying to find a connection between two things that normally don't really go together. I try to, um, to use materials that uh, can be quite different, but somehow find a transition to make them come together in a nice way. Several months often pass between the sketch and the final picture. What's most important to Johansson is that every detail seems as real as possible. And he spares no effort in pursuing that goal. And in the end, the illusion is perfect. I always liked drawing ever since I was a kid, but I, I always had a big interest in computers as well. And when I got my first digital camera, when I was 15, I thought that that was the first time that I could actually combine those interests and, uh, and create something new with, with, with the pictures. After spending four years in Berlin, he has now moved to Prague. He says he can work just about anywhere, and moving allows Johansson to reinvent himself again and again. I think the culture of a place can affect my work as well. Uh, I think it's interesting just to, anything you see can be used in form of inspiration to, to create a new product. So I don't know in what way, but I'm sure that Prague will give me a lot of new ideas. Johansson finds inspiration everywhere in his surroundings, including in the powerful contrasts between man-made objects and nature. Sometimes he accepts commissions from international companies. Today is the first time he's worked in his new studio in Prague. He likes to keep his older works in sight. Because sometimes he finds a detail he'd like to improve sometime in the future. The day when I will be completely happy with my work, I think then I'm done. We always have to keep moving and always become better. And I still feel like I have a lot of ideas I want to do. For his new project, a piece of the puzzle is still missing. A pair of scissors that's destined to be the central object in the picture. So starting with the sky, then building it up with the background, with the foreground, taking down the saturation a bit. This is about where I want the sky to be cut up, open. Uh, we have the girl here, and she will be carrying this that we just photographed. Johansson works on several hundred layers in Photoshop at the same time, and inserts the photo of the scissors. Erik Johansson travels around the world to achieve the perfect illusion. His home country, Sweden, frequently turns up in his surreal landscapes. If the season doesn't correspond to the idea for his picture, then the project has to wait till the year rolls around. The crux is that everything should appear as real as possible. Except when it doesn't. <laughs>